Played one, won one, and a right one. Sam Allardyce exits the role of England manager with an unbeaten professional record in the job, but with a reputation in tatters. While actually guilty of no crime as such, his apparent eagerness to help bend the rules concerning player transfers in return for bundles of cash has shamed the national game. While he deserves all the blame coming his way, shouldn't as much of the fans' fury be directed at the oafs who appointed him just 67 days ago? The man recently appointed to run the Football Association, Martin Glenn, is the former boss of United Biscuits. Excuse me, but just why does the bloke, who used to be responsible for the manufacture of hobnobs, mini cheddars and penguins, <laughs> oversee the selection of someone who plays such an integral role in the heart of our nation's sporting aspirations? It's unlikely would put Roy Hodgson in charge of the milk marketing board, isn't it? So let's hold to account the people who authorised Mr Allardyce's eye-watering £3 million annual salary and subsequent £1 million payoff. Otherwise, this tawdry saga simply takes the biscuit. <laughs> that's a typical piece of b isn't it? Really, when you Tell me where oh, there's anything, anything that's wrong. It is. Well, what the thing is, well, first of all, attacking Martin Glenn. Martin Glenn is a very good executive. He's got appointed to run the FA. You don't think he went out and asked that he and others who were doing that, who were looking for the New England manager, asked a lot of people, did a lot of consultation came to the conclusion of a small list, and then the guy got the job. Mm -hmm. That's what you do in any profession. No, it's not. It's no, it's, no, it's not. I'm, I'm, you've, I'm, you've run the FA, right? Yeah. I've done some research on the FA. Justify this for me. The last year for which accounts are available, year ending in July 2014, the FA had turnover of £332 million, profit of five million pounds. But it's any other business. You wouldn't run a media group like that. You wouldn't but run a I, supermarket I, like it's that. Not a, it's, this is ridiculous. It's not a profit and loss company. Dead right it's, it's not. It's a company, it, it's an organisation that gives money to grassroots football. It gives Millions money to grassroots football. Let's have a look at another statistic. Since the year 2000, a collection of half-beat, half-dead Herberts and Dumwits who've managed the team, we've paid north of 50 million Pounds to people such as Sven Goran Eriksson, Steve McCrown, Fabio Capello, £16 million over four years. What did he get us? Nothing, just some funny press conferences. How do you guys keep getting away with it? Well, because that's what, if you look at what managers in the Premier League get, I mean, to be fair, Sam Allardyce came for this job at considerably less than he was getting from Sunderland. So, it might be I mean, that's the market. Can we explain who funds the FA? Just because I don't yeah, really I know, don't. and I'm not the sure that you yeah. say we've paid Fabio Capello. Well, you know, the broadcasting rights and other things. But yeah, the bulk Can of the FA's it? money comes from uh, the FA Cup and broadcasting rights and mm -hmm. and the England internationals. That's where the money comes from. It comes into the FA. By and large, the bulk of it goes out to grassroots, the grassroots football. So it's not public money. It's not public. So then, what's your it's point? A, well, well, not only is it not public money, uh, it's it's an unfair characterization of saying it should be making big profits when I was there either, pr either when I was there either we profits switched. or success no when I was there we saved I, I decided that we should save 30 million pounds that was being sent on certain things so we could spend more out on the grassroots and spend more on the England team setup and that's was, what it on we did. Your, was it on your watch that we went from paying the manager 650,000 pounds to 2 million no 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 I, I my watch started Roy was already there had a contract Okay, so that was three point five million pounds. But in a year. the end, in the end, if you're going to get a good manager from who's been in the Premier League, that's the oh, sort I of money you pay. I can't believe you're saying this, Greg. That's you mean the sort you of wouldn't do you it pay. for three hundred thousand? No, they wouldn't. Well, really? I, well, I don't see well, you saw, well, people you rushing to the, hire the, the managers. Greg, the jury's out on whether Sam Allardyce was a good appointment. Let's be honest well, about it. That's and that's what comes back to my point with the bloke who, who makes mini cheddars and hobnobs being in charge of the committee. <laughs> no, no. If you look at sport where it, we are successful, do you remember that? Successful, because Christ knows we've never <laughs> had it in football. Where we are successful, like rugby, we have people who have actually played the game. Hang Rob on, Andrew, got, hang on, Clive hang on. Woodward. We got knocked out of the rugby world no, but, but the on their watch, And we're the second best team in the world at the moment, second only to, uh, uh, to New Zealand after our uh, defeat, uh, victories down in Australia where we've won all three tests. Well, rugby, you? success. One last wing, Michelle, then you, I promise. Cricket, we've got Andrew Strauss in there. 
probably the third best team in the world. Football, the thing you used to be in charge of, a bloke who makes bloody biscuits. No, no, he's the chief it's exec- absurd. He's the chief executive he's the of boss. an organisation. So can he's- you help us understand this? Because maybe everyone already knows and I don't, but how do you do that? How, what is this hiring process? So how does this guy that runs a biscuit factory become this 3.5 million... No, he's not... He, no, 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 he only gets £650,000. So, right. £650,000 to appoint points. another bloody yeah. Herbert who's no good. So you just, there's no other game. No, there's no other game no, in the but world. Nick, there are lots of companies where most corporations... No, no, but most corporations at the senior level... It's about somebody who has experience, not necessarily experience in that but field. He he's, he's made got a disastrous experience of running a, ma- a major well, he's made an international He's made an appointment who they thought was the best man God. for the job at the time. And there as was you a say, he played one game and one. So actually, it's not a bad Allardyce. record. The, the, what happened this <laughs> a week? A last minute goal against Slovakia but that went off the referee's <laughs> arse. So go on. But what happened this week? What happened this week? I thought the FA did quite well because actually they looked at it, said, this is not tenable. We can't carry on with this. This will run and run and run. The bills. We. This man has got to go. So he was. I mean, he's resigned. Well, but he's resigned. Glorious day. So I mean, we have to be very careful here. But it is well known that he was the subject of a BBC investigation. He was subsequently cleared. This is uh, uh, Sam Allardyce, an investigation mm. that was chaired by Lord Stevens, former Commissioner of the Met. So let's get all that out there. But wouldn't it make sense to do background checks on someone who holds such a pre- well, prominent of position? Of course, background checks. Are so done, they failed their background checks. But should checks you as well. should you appoint people? Or not appoint people on the basis of innuendo, on the basis of gossip, on the basis of rumour. No, I mean, you, you, you wouldn't get a job, would no. you? <laughs> Greg, I've lost jobs for yeah. yeah. so, so that. Greg, really... obviously, it was a Telegraph that did the investigation. Do you think that the FA should have been actually investigating themselves? Well, yes, how could the FA have done it? I mean, exactly. it's not an organisation. No, but the FA needs to be. It just, I hate it, this expression, it, root and branch. But just get rid of them. Just, they cost a bloody fortune, and by any measure, Greg, it's not working. What but the, story, by any the measure. story that is around this week is about corruption across... I mean, I actually thought it was quite... Today's revelations yeah. in the Telegraph are actually quite disappointing, as was the second day. I mean, you know, to, there are seven managers yeah. taking bungs, but we don't name them. Well, what, so I know, what? I know, there's obviously a problem been there. Told this by, been told this by some rather dodgy agent himself. Yeah. I mean, if you want to really get into the scandal in football, it's about agents. Right. Greg, I mean, I it's, it's, as you're here, and actually, Greg. the FA doesn't have control of agents because it's an international business now. FIFA almost given up on trying to control agents, but the They've real, their own the real <laughs> questions are to be asked about agents: how much they're taking for Did the Did you transfers. do anything about agents when you were at the FA? We tried. <laughs> But, so but why actually, are you finding it so hard to reform because, this organisation? Why inter- did you leave? It, well, hang on, I left because my time was up. But okay, it, actually, the uh, I don't think agents can be controlled in one country, because we no longer work that way. Mm. I mean, the major thing that, that was going on with Allardyce was about, is about players coming from Latin America who are not owned by clubs, they're owned by mm. individuals. Now, the FA took a lead and banned that, along with the Premier League, and now FIFA has banned it, and then but, you've got Mr Allardyce explaining how you can get part. But, but I'm more worried. And that's why he had to go. But by any level, I come back to this point, Greg, and I, I, I do like you as a bloke, and I know you're not there now, but honestly... It's hopeless over there. England, England football has not achieved anything for decades. They are the highest paid managers well, in the world. Yeah. I mean, how anybody sanctioned giving Capello uh, four million pounds a year? As I recall, I think we went out in round two. We haven't performed, England hasn't performed <coughs> to anything but like Nick, it. But Nick, what would you replace it with? Well, it's not it. all Greg's fault. Come well, he's the nearest on. I can get. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, yeah. Biscuit yeah. Guy's busy yeah. with his penguins. Yeah. No, 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 and there's a million, and there's a million, and there's loads of fans out there like Nick. Uninformed, you just you know, <laughs> completely uninformed. Just say, uh, I mean, you know, the trouble with columnists and journalists and the rest of it, actually is they've never run anything. But what do you do all day? What, what do you, if you're running the FA, what do you do all day? Oh, it's well, quite a complicated organisation. It's actually, no, Nick, it's actually what would you quite, replace it with? It's actually quite a complicated organisation because there's all, there's all sorts of bits. They are not, I mean, the Premier League and the Football League are much more in control of the clubs than the FA yeah, are. Yeah, I get that. Uh, the real issue about agents is, and, and, and this is about, you know, this is really about bribery and agents. Uh, the real issue is, will the clubs do anything about it? But with the three million pounds that they had to pay to, was it Sunderland is where they got Mr Allardyce from, is that right? Was it Sunderland they took yes. him from? Right, three million there, the one million to pay him off, why they didn't just sack him for being a company they, in the disrepute. Uh, well, right, His, you, hang on, do you, know all, do you know all this? Yes, I've read in the paper. Yeah, exactly, 70, <laughs> that's what I mean. I've read in the paper. 75, you, you have no idea what they paid £75,000 a day 
to just about snatch a last-minute win against Slovakia. Sure, but you is can't. that money well spent? But would you judge? I mean, if you, I would. Yes, because you judge it's a on results business. You judge on one game. Don't We're you? in results business. Oh, My come, radio show is in a results business. No, because you have, is in a no, results. No, in your radio show, which I have heard at times, <laughs> not, not many, thank God, but I have heard. <laughs> I mean, you have good days and bad days. Well, yeah. that happens in football. I that couldn't have, you, I couldn't have, you, what you is it, 96, 50 bloody years of bad days, could I, which is what England football's had. Well, I know it's sure, all on your watch. I'm not sure that's true. And actually, English football, you can say what you like about it, but it has built the Premier League, which is the but world, doesn't help the which is now the world. Uh, you're talking about the national team and not English football. Well, there's a real problem because I mean, we've now got the richest league in the world. Because we've got the richest league in the world, that can bring anybody in from anywhere, which means kids can't get through no, no, anymore. Right. There's yeah. a real shortage of players to actually choose, English players to yeah. choose from. And I did a commission into that and what you can do about it. But of course, nobody wants to change anything, really. I agree with you. It's another great way of spending the money. Is we'll have a commission. We'll, Nick, get, we'll get old no, Chilcott. We'll appoint no, Chilcott. No, we'll be there twenty years I, later. No, no, I, I chaired the commission. It didn't cost anything. <laughs> <laughs> Can I read out my so favourite? I would, I'd hate you to get confused with what you read in the paper. Greg, I think you would take three million to run the England team. <laughs> but right. my favourite, right. my favourite thing on Twitter anything. before I hand you both a yellow card is oh. for somebody who tweeted Sam Allardyce is a disgrace and needs to be punished, humiliated, and made an example of. Therefore, he should stay on. <laughs> 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 right.